Rocket Lab has been continuing to look for new launch opportunities as they increase Electron's launch cadence. For years now, we've seen both Electron and the Photon spacecraft put some very unique satellites and technology into Earth's orbit and beyond. In the coming months, however, we can expect the launch of one of the company's most interesting payloads yet. Rocket Lab is scheduled to launch Varda Space's Space Factory in the first quarter of this year. Based on this initial estimate, combined with recent updates from the company, it seems very likely that we are only months, if not weeks, away. In this mission, Electron, combined with a specially designed Photon spacecraft, will help launch and facilitate space manufacturing. Once in orbit, Varda's production facility begins operations. When the products are produced, they are then ejected from the system and returned to Earth in Varda's re-entry vehicle. In total, this is just the first of multiple missions the company has with Rocket Lab. Here I'll go more in depth into this upcoming mission, why it's so important, what to expect in the coming weeks, and more. Only a few days ago on the 15th, Rocket Lab tweeted saying, Putting our next spacecraft to the test. This Rocket Lab built spacecraft bus for Varda Space is currently undergoing a rigorous test campaign to get it ready for orbit, where it will support in space manufacturing. This included images of the payload and spacecraft bus being prepared for the mission. Back in 2021, Rocket Lab announced it had signed a deal with in-space manufacturing company Varda Space Industries to produce three photon spacecraft that will integrate with their space factories, enabling high-value products to be manufactured in zero gravity and returned to Earth in Varda's reentry capsule. Varda's space manufactured products are targeted at high-value markets such as fiber optic cables, pharmaceuticals, and semiconductors, all of which have higher performance when produced in zero gravity. What's so unique about this mission is Photon's application and continued support. Instead of using the Photon spacecraft to just extend an orbit, for example, it will do much more. Specifically, after launch, Rocket Lab's Photon will position the spacecraft in an operational orbit and provide station keeping. Photon will support Varda's 120 kg manufacturing and reentry modules with power, data, and attitude control. All of these Photon spacecraft will also incorporate Rocket Lab designed and built spacecraft components, including radios, reaction wheels, and star trackers. Rocket Lab's Photon will perform multiple burns with a 3D printed Curie engine, acting as a highly capable propulsion system to place Varda's reentry capsule on a return trajectory to Earth. Traditionally, almost all in space manufacturing research has been carried out on the International Space Station. This research has demonstrated that innovative materials and products can be created in the consistent microgravity environment of low Earth orbit, an environment that can't be replicated on Earth. Until now, manufacturing in orbit has been impossible to scale due to cost. Building a space factory with a proven photon spacecraft, one that doesn't require human tending in orbit, will allow Varda to make building products in space at scale a reality for the first time. The Varda team is undertaking groundbreaking work that really opens up new possibilities and markets for in-space manufacturing, and we couldn't be more excited to make their mission possible with Photon, said Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck. Photon enables our customers to unlock the full potential of space. It removes a massive barrier to the growing small satellite market by delivering our customers a versatile and configurable spacecraft platform that they don't need to build themselves. Our customers get to orbit faster and can focus purely on their mission while there, rather than worrying about developing and operating a spacecraft. The first Varda Photon is planned for delivery in quarter one of 2023, with the second to follow up later this year and a third in 2024. The contract, which is subject to standard termination provisions, also included an option for Varda to procure a fourth Photon. In May of last year, they announced they had indeed added a fourth photon in mission. In terms of the mission profile, each launch has a nominal three-month duration from launch to landing. This means we can expect a launch in the next couple of months and a landing toward the middle of this year. Now that we know more about Rocket Lab's upcoming mission and the Photon spacecraft's purpose, we can take a closer look at space manufacturing and the incredible opportunities it opens up. Based in Torrance, California, Varda Space Industries was founded by Will Brewery who spent almost a decade working on SpaceX's Crew and Crew Dragon spacecraft. At the time of the mission announcement, he commented, We are excited to work with Rocket Lab. Photon is a great fit for our mission, and their team has displayed significant engineering rigor. Working with them will allow us to deliver on an aggressive schedule and tight budget. We are one step closer to delivering valuable materials to our clients here on Earth. Varda Space Industries was founded in 2020 with the goal of manufacturing products in space to benefit life on Earth. The co-founders imagined a world where space could be leveraged not only for storytelling and awe, but also for its economic benefits. Varda was created as a platform for in-space manufacturing, with a range of real-life on-Earth use cases. Today, they are trying to accelerate innovation in space through their microgravity manufacturing platform, with applications including pharmaceuticals, hypersonic testing, and fiber optics. In terms of progress on this ambitious system, the company recently completed a drop test. 
In October last year, Varda's space industry successfully demonstrated the descent and landing capability of the reentry capsule for its first microgravity factory test mission. In this test, the Varda team dropped the capsule out of an airplane over the Arizona desert to prep for its first mission. This was our first major vehicle system test, said the CEO. I don't really want to give the team a big ego, so I'll downplay it and say that they absolutely crushed it, he said. After deliberation, the Varda team made the choice to test a full vehicle, instead of just the pieces necessary, to test the parachute and landing procedures. That choice meant that the team could gather a lot more data about the actual flight design rather than just pieces. The cons, of course, are that if it doesn't work, then you spend a lot of work figuring out that it just doesn't work, and you get a little splat situation on the desert floor, said Brewey. It was Varda's first must-work experience. During the test, the team dropped the capsule from an airplane at an altitude of around 13,000 feet above sea level. In freefall, the capsule reached terminal velocity at around 120 miles per hour, and then deployed its parachutes at 3,500 feet above sea level. After the fact, it was reported that the capsule survived the fall with no structural damage and was successfully retrieved by the team. Looking at the benefits of this process, the microgravity environment and absence of dust particles allows for the manufacturability of fine technical products such as computer chips with higher precision and quality than on Earth's surface. This process also allows for the manufacturing of completely new materials and products. In July 2021, Vardis Space received $42 million in a funding round from various venture capitalists, after receiving $9 million in an initial funding round in December 2020. In terms of the upcoming missions with Rocket Lab, Photon was a major contributor to the overall decision. Rocket Lab's Photon small spacecraft is based on the Heritage Electron Launch Vehicle kick stage, leveraging numerous components that have significant flight heritage, including the Curie engine. Photon flies as the upper stage of Electron, eliminating the parasitic mass of deployed spacecraft and enabling full utilization of the fairing. As a configurable platform, Photon can be tailored to meet unique mission requirements. From mass manufacture as a streamlined constellation offering to a single customized technology demonstration spacecraft, the idea is Photon can easily be adapted to make different missions possible. In the past couple of years, we've seen Photon complete more and more impressive missions. On June 28, 2022, Rogalab launched a CubeSat to the Moon, a pathfinding mission to support NASA's Artemis program. Focusing back on space manufacturing, the Varda contract combines with a growing list of Photon missions, including the Capstone mission, which I just mentioned, and a contract to design twin Photon spacecraft in support of a NASA Mars mission. Rogalab currently operates multiple existing Photon spacecraft on orbit. The next mission with Varda will add another to that list as Rogalab continues to grow its reach and opportunities within the industry. Rocket Lab is one big contract with Varda Space Industries for four separate launches. Each will feature a unique Photon spacecraft designed to keep the factory in place and running before sending it back to Earth. Based on recent updates, it looks like progress is coming along and we can expect the first mission to launch in only months. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.